Hey guys, it's Tanya Lucille. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you're here with me today. Go down and hit that subscribe button and stick around. We only got one silly little cantaloupe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Funny. We forgot about some zucchini. They got a little big. Thankful for chickens. Throw them in? Yeah. Hey, we actually got real potatoes. They look healthy too. So we haven't even got around yet. Yeah. Kind of small. Wait for it. Maybe jumpy. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. There's some real life size to these. Well, last time we did them, I used fingerlings. Oh, yeah. So. They're eating that giant zucchini. Sunflowers are my favorite and it's fun to pick them anytime I want. Some rosemary and lavender that I harvested today. I just wanted to give you an update on some things that are going on. Um, summer is over, my kids are back in school, and I have a lot more time on my hands, which is amazing and exciting. I don't know what it was, but this summer, I was really challenged with recording videos 
while my kids were home. And I don't know, it was just like distraction, distraction, distraction. Really, really bad. <laughs> it was Tanya, Tanya, mom, mom. It was just all over the place. And um, I didn't record, well, I started recording several videos and never even uploaded them because I was super frustrated. So something I learned about myself um, <laughs> this summer and something that I have to work on and improve with dealing with distractions. So that's part of why there's very few summer uploads. Um, now the kids are back in school, my plan is to get moving and to um, be more consistent in uploading. I feel like anyone who starts a YouTube channel um, struggles, may, well not anyone, but a lot, I think that it's, I'm sure there are some people who start a YouTube channel and struggle with consistency of uploading, especially when you have a family of six with lots of other things going on, activities and such. So that's that. Um, and uh, the other thing that I wanted to share is that I was supposed to have my hip replaced um, the other day and um, I kind of was processing through how I was going to um, upload and do videos during recovery. I didn't know exactly what it was going to look like, but um, something that I'm dealing with is high blood sugars and I went down to have the surgery, which is a little over an hour away. Um, and they sent me home because my blood sugar was too high. It was, they took it twice. Um, one time it was 225, the other time it was 242, I think. And these are numbers that I don't usually see. For whatever reason, um, the surgery didn't happen. And I'm trying to just be okay with that. And, and I am okay with it. I look at it like God's timing, um, you know, was not my timing. And for whatever reason, whether I find that out one day or not, um, it just wasn't meant to happen. So the goal here is to get my blood sugars lower and to get my diabetes in check. I have type two diabetes for those of you who don't know. I have come a really, really long way with this already. Um, and that's what's really frustrating about it because um, I already cut so much food out of my diet that I just don't eat on a regular basis anymore. And I have lost a lot of weight. My highest weight was 312 pounds. And currently this morning I weighed myself and I am 255. I'm still working on getting lower. Um, and I would love to hit my goal by the new year of um, 199, which is Wonderland. <laughs> but anyway, knocking the table. So I'm doing some things um, with my doctor. I'm trying on a new med. Um, I do not want to go on insulin, but also I'm going to get stricter with my diet. And um, I'm not really looking forward to this, but I feel it's something I have to do. And I'm grieving food loss, I guess would be the way to say it. I know that there are certain foods that I just might need to cut out and maybe not for the rest of my life, but I think that people who have diabetes or are prone to insulin resistance just cannot eat the same diet that someone else can. I don't believe we are all called to eat exactly the same way. I mean, that's why some people have different allergies. That's why people, some people have celiac disease. That's why some people can't do gluten, can't do dairy, um, because they have bad reactions to it. And being diabetic, it's sugar and it's carbs. And the fact that I was eating healthy food that now I have to give up is actually sad. I mean, to not eat an apple, to not eat pineapple, to not eat things like that, that I consider healthy um, in moderation even. Um, I'm not eating tons of junk food 
And of course, um, you know, I'm human with four kids and we do have times where I do indulge. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that this is not, you know, my fault, but if I can do anything to control it on my end, I'm going to work towards doing that. So what that's gonna look like, um, keep posted because I think I might do a couple videos on what that looks like. I don't wanna turn this into a food channel by any means, um, even though that's been a huge part of my life. But one of the things I'm grieving too is, is the connection that we have with food and our family. Um, we come together at the table for all of us to eat and to have to eat something that's di different or to have to make different food for the kids. Um, you know, I know there's a way around it and I've done it before where I just make a side for them that is carbs where I just don't eat the side. So it is doable, but it's still challenging in today's world. Um, so if you guys think about me, definitely pray for me and um, I appreciate it. There's been an overwhelming amount of support from people. Um, I had so many texts the other day that I had to make a post on Facebook because I was just like, I cannot respond to all these people. And that alone was pretty amazing. So um, that's all I got for right now. I hope you enjoyed the somewhat end of the season garden update. Um, we're still harvesting kale, which we should be able to until we have like really deep frost, like probably even snow. It can snow and you can still harvest kale, just so you know that. So that's all I got for right now. Um, continue to join with me in the Word of God, in the kitchen, and in the home. Um, please like this video and um, support this channel. I love you guys. Bye.